Okay, so here I am, a new year, so some new things, but why not start this off with some Fate and then some Tuaru later on. So yeah, if you guys had any type of request, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't seen them, and I'll say this in a couple of other videos as well, but yeah, I don't know what's been going on YouTube. It's like sometimes comments just don't even pop up in the notification, and I literally have to go find it. And once I see it, it's like, okay, wow, why did it not notify me? You know, usually I'd see it like if someone replies to me or something, you know, after I've talked to them. But sometimes notifications just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I'm sorry if I haven't seen any of your comments sometimes. It's just, yeah, they just don't be popping up. But I'm going to try and get these down. I think I've at least looked at most of them. Um, and if you guys had any other requests, right, then yeah, just comment them down below. But other than that, let's just see this. Uh, every Emiya from weakest to strongest. And I still have to learn more about the other Emiyas and Cheetos and all that. But for now, let's just see uh, what was it Saya yeah, has for us today. Um, so other than that, hope you guys will enjoy this. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And let's just get this video started. So this is a topic that I had planned to do prior anyway, and we were already in that neck of the woods. So I said, you know what, why not? We're gonna be ranking every main Emia from weakest to strongest. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you guys sign up for the Patreon. You get access to early content okay. and priority on your request. And for anybody that's new here and don't know how things go, we tend to do it skill over power. Bro, it's not like bro is in the, the mic right now, power. but okay. So that, that's fun we're gonna be looking at and the overall week of course gotta go route Shiro and oh for real? this a bunch of times before. the week is his main feat of course will be him generating his caliber when they were going against hurt the same one that allowed for saber to kill him seven times over still remains to be one of the best feats from him in the series however outside of that he's not doing too much in the route because the route itself is structured around the very world building of faith in general not only that but just getting into the basis of shiro and emia as yeah a make makes so sense not too much that he's doing here i will give him some points for his fight against kirei that he had at the end of the route when they were doing their one-on-one -on -one. with the help of the azov that ren gave him he did manage to weave his way around the grail mud without any type of reinforcement or somebody coming to save him and just completely using strategies of his own he was able to not only overcome Kire, but the grail mud itself which we can see just how he was responding from the times that he was hit or submerged they could have easily taken his life and he still managed to take down Kire. yeah hit him with the and same he knife he gave the ren that Kire has in terms of fighting even though he wasn't necessarily focused on his martial arts side during the fight because that's not necessarily what it was about and Kire was in fact out of his prime still impressive nonetheless the list. I will say if you want to reach and go a little further and extend this by throwing Shiro a bone and giving him the last episode just the mental fortitude and the effort that will be required for him to meet back up with Artoria in Avalon we're talking about a one in a million chances and he still pulled it off that would definitely bring him up somewhere towards the middle of the list but I'm mainly centering this around his base form next up we got UB Dub Shiro and old school classic you guys should be well aware how the story goes jesus okay Archer jumping through time, <laughs> not so expecting that to have his one-on-one -on -one against him and by doing so he was able to acquire the knowledge that it would take to summon things such as his reality marble ub dub early this coupled with the fact that he temporarily borrowed the magic crest energy from ren gave him access to pretty much being archer about 20 years early and we can see that he used this against Gilgamesh to his full capacity even going as far to defeat him in a 1v1 through his reality marble we find out that Emya is actually an ultimate counter to Gilgamesh so the novel yeah, does literally tell like... us that UB Dub fires slightly faster than the gate of Babylon okay. can keep up with just like the situation with Kire this was through the fact that he caught Gil by surprise also had Archer to come in and help him towards the end but again still doesn't change the fact that Gil Gil is one of the strongest servants in the entire franchise to this day. Plus, you had Gil overestimating himself 
underestimating Shiro, it's still something that you can't take. Yeah, and him, him taking that. Heaven's field. Oh, Heaven's field. They're yeah, taking that moment of pause. Through a straight line like this, I promise. Was it bring out an enema? But for Heaven's field, Shiro, knowing his situation in that route, he did acquire Archer's arm, so he was able to take the driver's seat for majority of the route in okay. comparison to what he was capable of doing in the other two. And in doing so, by having Archer's arm, we do see that he's able to hold his own in situations like him going against the darkened Heracles, where he used his knife bullet revolver to straight up obliterate Heracles in literal seconds. Again, Heracles is also one of the strongest in the franchise, and although he did have the arm of a heroic spirit, Cheryl's still a human, so this is huge by any standard. Situations like him ensuring the survival of Medusa when she was going against Salter by the help of his Roias deflecting majority of her Excalibur Morgan blast, that's huge in and of itself, especially considering that Medusa is a servant she should be able to hold her own and she still had Cheryl be the one to come in and make sure that they were able to make it out okay but the greatest thing that I find is something that comes from one of the bad ends and of course that is the Sparks Liner High ending we've covered that on the channel also where you have Cheryl go up against Salter in the exact same situation but this time around it's a 1v1 so he has Archer's arm he's utilizing the best of his tech Needs, the best of his abilities, his movements, his strategies, he's using over edge, and he actually yeah, whatever was able he can to use beat Salter, even while whatever still that is, uh, disposal. Human. However, he wasn't able to finish her off and get the kill because <clears throat> his body had timed out on him and he literally self-destructed before he finally finished the match. So given a circumstance where he actually was capable of going forward, yet another top servant that he was able to take out by his own right. That's a big win on his part. Coming in next, we have Emiya Assassin, AKA Counter Guardian Kiritsugu really dope transition from his original self we know from the main i don't think i've ever seen that one before a person that was able to win the fourth grail war by his own strategies so if you consider his potential in that right added on to the fact that now he's a servant he still has his thompson contender his power has been massively increased his speed has been taken up to match and with him now being a counter guardian he essentially has bolstered his strategy game tenfold considering that that's literally what a counter guardian bases their entire existence around. Under regular circumstances, he's given many people a lot of trouble. It's unfortunate the robbery of the amount of screen time that he doesn't get because it's very obvious that he will be able to take down many servants. But even knowing that, I gotta bring him at least here. Muramasa, that being the same swordsmith that hijacked Cheryl's body, but it is Cheryl's body nonetheless, so we gotta give him the credit first. In this video, variant Muramasa does have his own version of a reality marble that extends from Shiro's experience the body of Shiro being around 28 at this time we can see through the story of Shimosa that Muramasa was able to perfect his blade that can cut through concepts I like his design the most every time I see him amount of service can replicate I'm like he's just things, too cool fate, karma, and, destiny. and even through the story of Shimosa we've seen that when Amakusa Shiro tried to use his reality marble Muramasa was able to chop through the entire thing like it didn't exist wow, he's okay. tackled multiple servants with Kire and Lost Belt 5 it being said through the story that they couldn't hold a candle to them and I will give him some points of his survival against Fairy Knight Lancelot although he wasn't capable of defeating her she is an extremely powerful servant one of the highest as of late especially in that chapter itself it's a lot to hang up with but he did survive being chucked into a massive hole which child of prophecy's bodyguard okay wouldn't have been able to get back out of that's a huge nod to his level of survival just wasn't able to secure the win then we got miuverse shiro my god favorite. you see by the help of shiro okay archer card that he was able to actualize himself as so he's up there of emia and pretty much beat everybody in the war except in 
Angelica in one night. This oh, man okay, yeah, sold yeah. an entire At the world end. war in a night. Just learning about these powers outright. Now, I like his design too, and definitely. Time, and he's beating people like the Ainsworths, even though they had the King Arthur card, or Kanev, even though he was merged with Kukulin. The man is a literal beast here, and you gotta give him his credit. Next, we have Emia Alter. He too being one that has reached his counter guardian state. He's a lot more brutal than normal. So on top of everything that he's known before, he does have his own version of Cheryl's Reality Marble, Unlimited Lost Works, and I'm Unlimited really surprised Lost to have Works. him here because a while back I would have had him further back on the list. But if you guys have been following the channel with the recent updates that we've had this past year, it's pretty much been confirmed that Mind of Steel Cheryl leads into the Emia Alter variant. So if we take that into consideration, we also have to bring the Mind of Steel bad end from Heaven's Feel into the equation. And by the knowledge of that bad end, we know that Shiro on his dolly was able to solo the Grail War and even confirm that he would take out everybody that was in it. This includes Zoken, Ren, Ilya, and anybody else that happened to get involved as well. You have to consider that Salta was still there, Herc, and even Cursed Arm Hassan was still around. Not saying he's the one that dealt with all of them specifically, but he's still the one that came out on top. That's huge. Next we have base form Emia. And this is pretty much every Emia that's involved right. throughout the first three routes. So this is where we give him the feats of going against Heracles in the first route and beating him six times before he finally lost his life. Surviving against Kukulin and UB Dub by the use of his role Aeus. Even though Kukulin used a phantasm against him that should have finished him off with relative ease or even his survival in the Heaven's Field route when he was protecting the squad against the shadow itself which is essentially a borderline omnipotent existence at least by his standard as a servant and he was still able to survive protect them and still get off the transplant that he had with Shiro in that same route moving right along we have counter guardian Emya. this should have been fairly obvious he's being empowered by the world he has yeah. eons worth of experience from fighting some of the strongest creatures some of the strongest humans dealing with with some of the worst circumstances throughout several points in history and still living to tell the tale this would just be his base form bolstered to whatever degree the world decides to give him but what i forgot gilgamesh had the drip on him did he than anything a regular Yo. servant can handle a regular human can handle and some of the best potential that we've ever seen him be capable of and lastly you guys Last. already know you may have missed the video where i covered it but without a shadow of a doubt we do know that fate extra emia is confirmed to oh. be the strongest okay, fate extra. yeah i wouldn't even know much of by that the laws of the extraverse not only is he pretty much uncapped in terms of strength in terms of speed in terms of utility unlike his other forms but this goes even further when you have him go up against an actual premeditated beast that being kiara plus considering his fight against bb in the main storyline where he's bolstered by his very own unique mystic code this being his mythological mystic code and the reason this okay. is so devastating different is because outfit. the very fact that he was able to hang with these entities mean that that this code is at least light speed in terms of travel because travel speed and movement speed aren't the same and going into beast territory in terms of power there's nobody on this list that can top a feat coming in close to that you do have emia alter going against kiara but that was just him cleaning up the scraps and outside of the support that the story forcibly gives you they do give it to all the main servants this is him real deal facing off against these entities on his own merits whatever form he decides to come in you will be in a ride for an impressive showcase okay and then that is it for this one here well yeah let me play the video again but yeah just before let's see i just say that yeah i no, need to know more about the was it the extra i know alter wherever he is yeah, I need to know more about him. You know, yeah, Muramasa as well. I'm <laughs> out here struggling to uh, get his name, but yeah, Alter here. And then, yeah, the, well, I don't need to know more about that, but just simply saying like, 
Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, so counter guardian, and then you just got the regular base. Okay. All right. Well. Oh yeah. You, yeah. You can say that's um pretty different. Yeah. Just base here, and then the counter guardian. You know, after all those countless battles. Okay. Yeah. That that would actually yeah, be different. But yeah, this was like I, I knew most of it, but yeah, kind of surprising. But at the same time. It's like, okay, well, I can see who's stronger than who. And then for the base to only get a B rank, I mean, I know some people in like the comments of that video, they were saying they rank them even higher uh, at a good A or something. Maybe a low A, I guess. Maybe, yeah, because if you add that into the equation, yeah, now we got a whole nother debate, like whether they're a high B or a low A, high A, something like that. Yeah, you, you can um, have to um, do more for that. But in general, I think they meant just simply an A rank. And yeah, that means that he would be pretty good then, at least for him to be the about the strongest. Um, not saying everybody else is weaker, but him to be like way up here. Like, wow. But um, yeah, I can at least see. Let's see, so Muramasa. You already know my boy from the um, Eaverse, right? Prisma Ea. Gotta give it up to him. So, yeah, it's really Mur Muramasa and him. Yeah, I like their designs the most. They just, I don't know, they just got that on them. Just however they got their outfits, they, they just got it on them. Uh, oh yeah, this one too. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I probably have to go back and see if I've um yeah, if I looked at a video with the, uh, containing this. But yeah, I feel like I've even seen them before. But or not, that was it. Um, this was informative. Okay. Yeah, and you gotta remember too, like Shido, he did have. Well, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but yeah, he did have like martial arts experience, but like not too much to where he's actually going against servants that could kill him, you know, in a matter of seconds, really, you know, with their noble phantasms and all that. He's just, you know, that just makes what makes him different, right? Like, he doesn't even have experience really fighting these people that literally could kill a human in a matter of seconds, you know, because I mean, they're pretty much way quicker than a regular human. But for him to like see and actually like counter attack and all that, especially with Gil, um, I know Gil, you know, what I was trying to say in the video, like, yeah, obviously, whatever Gil threw out, you know, Shido had the exact same weapon to throw back. So, yeah, it just came up to simple martial arts at that point. But yeah, that fight that really showed how Gil could sort of second guess, I guess, yeah, how you could say to where he was thinking about okay wait should i bring out uh enema like yeah he was just too late at that point um thinking like okay should i bring this out and then at that time yeah it's just too late shido got his arm and that was it but yeah it can also show that side of gil him probably overthinking a little or just that little bit of hesitation maybe and then also just shido yeah he's just going with it <laughs> you know no time for him to hesitate at least like he just got to keep on moving through Especially with um, yeah, that limited mana too, right? I know he got that boost from Ren, but yeah, it's not like he has all that um, as much mana as he needs in the world. You know, he still has limited mana. But yeah, you still gotta give it up to the regular base Shido in general, cause yeah, what he be going up against? Like a normal human would be dead by now. But other than that, that should be about it for this one. So yeah, that was the weakest to strongest. Yeah, you better put my boy at least somewhere up here. I mean, come on. Defeating all them servants in one night. And Angelica, yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. Cause I think yeah, he was kinda weak. Yeah, he was kinda weakened at that point, wasn't he? Like still fighting. You know, like I said, in one night, so. Yeah, he was still moving. I know he still had like a, a bunch of, you know, mana probably still left, but yeah, he was fighting that whole time.
but even still i don't even think yeah if it was like full full power i don't even think he'd still beat her but i'd have to see later on but still i, I like this one right i mean this design right here is just crazy yeah i, I can't say that enough but other than that i'm gonna just end it off here yeah just end it off with my boy right here and like how i said in the beginning of the video if you do have any more requests i'll just get to those i'm just saying right now he has a couple that i have to go through since i kind of missed at least two weeks worth i mean not really two weeks worth it's just i wasn't really uploading or recording as much during the last two weeks um of december at least so yeah just some catching up i gotta do that's that's all i'm saying but other than that, I'll just get uh, to it whenever I can. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. Make sure you like, subscribe again, and I will just see you guys in the next one.